Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I was out of town all day at a golf outing, as you could tell by the amount of sun that I got, and I came back and noticed that the Pixel launcher got leaked, which is an update to the old Nexus launcher, so who will be releasing phones that are supposedly going to be branded under the Pixel name, and it's apparently going to be accompanied with this new launcher, the Pixel launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and post all sources and download links in the description if you'd like to install it on your device. But let's go ahead and check it out. I installed it on one of my phones. So let's see the new features and everything that it comes with. All right, now to start, you'll see Pixel Launcher is there set as my default home app. So when I press the home button, it goes to that Pixel Launcher. And right away, you'll notice things are a little bit different. First of all, the main one, no app drawer button at all, as you can see. However, there's still an app drawer. It just takes either a press or a swipe up from the bottom to get to that app drawer. And you'll see it has a very nice animation, transparent app drawer until you get to the top. Or you have a little arrow that you can press, which is very... Uh, similar to the Android Nougat update in the notification shade and you'll see you can tap that and it goes up quickly now to swipe down Looks like there is no button to actually get down To the to close the after so you will have to swipe down if you'd like to close it You'll see you still have those circle folder icons so an updated look to those and then also in that after you have a search Apps option and when you use this scrolling bar You'll see you do have letters that pop up and those apps animate slightly when you get to that new letter. Now in the upper left hand corner, you do have a G which can take you to a quick Google search. As you can see, the animation might be a little bit different. I don't have it installed as a system app, so things might be a little bit different once I install it, have it installed as a system app. So keep that in mind, but that is there permanently. Um, and also this date and time is there permanently. You'll see if I try and move an app to the top, in anywhere up here, it's just gonna drop down right below it. So that's there permanently. Pressing and holding on this does absolutely nothing. You cannot move that at all. You also notice the calendar icon is, uh, is going to change every day. So it's September 12th, so the 12 is on that calendar icon. So that has been updated as well. Of course, you have pages. Um, you can press and hold again, and you can jump into settings. So settings, app suggestions in that app drawer. You show Google app, and then you have allow home screen rotation as well. So you can, yes, still rotate your home screen with this specific launcher. Now, and in the downloads I will post, there's also a wallpaper option, wallpaper picker, I guess you could say. And when we go into it, here it is. So currently set up at the top. Now check these out. So there's on device, my photos, and then you have specific ones such as earth, landscape, cityscape, life, and textures. So if you want to go ahead and check out landscapes. So here we go, look at all of these. And then you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, you have daily wallpaper. Tap to turn on, it will change automatically every day, which I love. I love that option just because wallpapers are something you don't necessarily need to be static. I like uh, when they do change all the time. Now, I don't know if that actually activated it on the lock screen, looks like it did. So home and lock screen got activated there. Now, when it comes down to it, that's really about it for the launcher, it doesn't necessarily edit any of the operating system whatsoever. You see I'm on Android 7.0 on my Nexus 5X, uh, but you'll see overall, that's pretty much it. That would be the nice, smooth animation to open up the app drawer. Um, in the new Pixel Launcher. So let me know what you think. Go ahead and download on your device and give me some feedback. So drop a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, click that subscribe button. So lots more to come on the Pixel phones from Google. Of course, I'll be doing videos on those and lots more to come very soon. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.